guys this is navin reddy so today we'll talk about bsc it now in see uh, bsc it from mumbai university right so it's university of mumbai now in bsc it you have six sems that means you have three years right so if you are first year student great it's your first year right enjoy your first year if you are second year student you know you, you belong to those category who are seniors but who are juniors so you are senior then you are first year you are junior then you are second year sorry you are third year students right so you are both so if you are second year you are both the problem is with third year right if you are a third year student you are the most senior person in your college right and the problem is when you are in first year you try to enjoy your first year because you are new to your college you are new to your friends you try to adjust right because it is the only subject where you don't know what it will be right if you are if you if you are doing bsc uh, physics if you are doing bsc chemistry you know what is physics you know what is chemistry if you are doing bcom you know what is commerce right but if you are doing bsc it it's totally a different track what you have you have uh, programming subjects you have networking subjects so in first year you try to you know you try to adjust yourself in that environment If you are in second year, it's something like uh, you know something, but you don't know what you should do, because if you know, when you try, when you go for some course, like when you go for some uh, uh, professional courses, you know you are doing this course to become someone. But the problem with you guys, you don't know what you want to be, and you are doing a course, right? So second year give gives you confusion, right? Which which track you should follow or what you should do, then. in that confusion suddenly you you come down into third year and in third year what you what your mindset is this is our last year we have to enjoy our college life fully you know from last 15 years you are reading those books you are giving exams and this is the last year you have to finish it off right but the problem is if you try to finish it off in in this uh, enjoyable mode you you will suffer in next 5 years so what i will suggest you have one year Okay, give your best in this one year. Get involved in BSc IT, or you have you have to complete your TY fully in proper way. This one year will define your next five years. You know which company you want to work for, how much package you want. This year will define your company. This year will define your package. This year will define the the track you will follow. Like, uh, do you want to go for programming or do you want to go for database? This year will define everything. Okay, so if you talk about this year, you have one year which starts with June, which ends at March. So academically one year, right? But practically it's nine or ten months, right? So you have two sem in this uh, year, T Y I T, sem five and sem six. So we'll start with sem five. So this video will help you to to you know to get involved in B S C I T or to in, to get involved in T Y. Okay. and for me i am i'm a professor for bsc it so i know bit the concepts i know how industry works so this video will help you just uh, give me a sec so in this you have two years so it starts with sem 5 and it goes to sem 6 so in sem 5 you have five subjects and in sem 6 you have four subjects including a project right See, if you talk about subjects like in first year you have ten subjects, in second year you have ten subjects, but in third year you have nine subjects. Advantage, right? But you have, you also have a project. Now, what we think, right? Project belongs to sem six, but actually you have to think about your project from sem five. Okay, because if you think about your project in this sem, you have to start working in this sem. So that in six sem you can make it, or in six sem you can work on it, or or in Diwali vacation you can you can use your vacation to create your software. See, uh, when you go to interview, right? When you when you go for interview, like big companies like Accenture, TCS, or L N T, they will ask you, you know, in technical round they will ask you what is what is your specialization or in which technology you are best. You know, so what we do, we we are like we are jack of all. So we are jack of all means we know every subject we know programming we know networking we know database but we are not master of one what they expect is jack of all and master of one and you can be a master of one with your project so if you are making a project in uh, a networking based project so your mastery in networking if you are making a software with good database or with uh, uh, you know powerful secure database your mastery in dba So if you are making a software in Java, so you are master in Java. If you are creating a software in .NET, you are master in .NET. So it defines your mastery. So you should be jack of all, and you should be master of one. And for that, your project is very important. 
So if like two people are going for an interview, one scored 80%, another person is scoring 60%, right? So both are, are eligible to get the job. But the problem is if they have only one vacant or if they have only one vacancy for two of these people, so they, they will ask you about your project because they want some person who has some experience on software. So if you are creating a good software, that means you have a good experience on that software, right? You have good experience on that technology. So your project will define your career path. Okay, so don't take your project so lightly. You know what we think once we once we finish with your fifth sem, then we will think about your uh, with your project. The problem is, okay, so you will think after November, right? So after in November you will be having your fifth sem exam. So you will think about your uh, what to do next. We'll we'll make a project in de December. The problem is when you, when you start in December, it will go to January. You will think in January it will design, it will go to February. In February you will think it will develop, it will go to March and then you will, then you will be starting with a practical exam and then you will think let's buy a project. Okay, and once you buy a project, that's it. No job for you. Okay, because interview, they know, technical interview, they know if you have done any work on that or you're just buying the software. So make sure you build your project by yourself. Okay, so let's start with SEM5. So in SEM5, you have five subjects. Again, subjects are very simple. Subjects are very technical. And subjects are amazing. Like subject like. The first subject you have is network security. Second subject you have is ASP.NET with C Sharp. Third subject you have is uh, advanced Java. Then you have software testing. And then we have Linux administration. Right? All these subjects are amazing. Like... If you want to work on servers, Linux, Linux is very important. If you want to make a software, the .NET or Java is very important. If you want to make your network secure, like if you are working for some company and they want their networks to be secure, or if you are creating a software in which that software is using a network space, so your network should be secure, right? So in order to secure your software, you have to secure your network. So it's all interdependent. And most important, when you talk about a software, that software it should be tested properly and that's why you have a subject called a software testing now all these courses are professional courses like you are, you are paying 15,000 to learn Java you are paying uh, I guess uh, again 15,000 for Linux you are paying uh, you know I guess uh, 22,000 for software testing all those concepts are there in BSCIT while you are doing some professional courses right you can learn all this concept in your SEM file Great, right? The only thing is you should be dedicated. Okay? And joining the classes or going to college, it's your choice. If you think you can do it properly in your college, go ahead. If you think you cannot do it by yourself, join classes. Make sure you do it. Okay? Don't don't think I will do it. If you if you can't if you can't do it, join the classes. If you if you think you can do it, do it by yourself. Make sure you, you there, there, there are lectures in your college because there are some college they are, they are struggling with lectures. So if you think your college is struggling with lectures, I don't want to name any college, but if your if your college is struggling with lectures, make sure you join classes. Okay. So uh, again, how to start with network security? Uh, you can use any book. Like right? if you you can pick up any book mentioned in your syllabus. Okay. What I prefer, I will I will go for Adul Kahate, or I will prefer if you wanna go for some local publication. Don't go for Louisville, but if you want to prefer local, public, uh, local publication, you can use Dream Tech. I guess they are good. Uh, you can use TechMax, but at your own risk. Whipple and TechMax at your own risk. There are some books which are good. There are some books which are very, very, very good. So make sure you, you, go, for, you go for proper book. So if you think that local book is not proper, reference book. Okay, so in reference book, you can use Atul Kahate, you can use William Stallings, and there are some books mentioned in your syllabus. Then for ASP.NET, again, there are some books in your syllabus. I am not a .NET professor, so I am sorry. For testing, uh, in link below, you will find some notes prepared by me, and you will find some PPTs. So I was a professor for software testing, so I have my own notes. Then for advanced Java, Sharnam Shah. So in advanced Java, it starts with Swing. Then you have all these web components. So Swing, you have to read from complete reference. And for remaining part from servlet to Sturge to Hibernet, everything is there in Sharnam Shah. Okay, maybe uh, Sharnam or Sharnam, check it out. Then uh, for Linux administration, I don't know. 
you know you can use internet or there, there might be some book which they have uh, referenced here but you can use internet for linux right linux is very technical subject you know if you know commands if you know how it works you are good in linux if you don't know read how many books you want you will not understand the main part is those technical terms okay then 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 okay so this is sam file right again i'm i'm telling you your sam file will define your year it's because if you get you know let let's let's keep a target let's suppose you want to score the 75% distinction you want to score 75% right so for this 75% you need at least 72 or 73 in your fifth, fifth sem so that in sixth sem with the help of project you can score around 80 so it's very difficult to score right again you have now system of 60 40 so now you can score because you have 40 marks practical right but still there is some problem in scoring in fifth sem because you have five subjects in sixth sem you have one project of 200 marks it's scoring, it's damn scoring, you know. So when you're going for fifth sem, try to score at least 72 or 73. So that in sixth sem, you can, you know, you can stretch yourself and you can score around 80. So that on average, on average, you will go for 75%. And 75% it's a mark. It gives, it shifts you from classes to distinction. Again, you have some grading system now, right? So that 75 will, will matter or 80 will matter. Then for, yeah, so how to, how to start? First thing, take a book. Okay, start reading book. Don't depend upon your college lecture. Don't depend upon your class lecture. Start reading book. Next, you can, if you, if you're not able to understand a particular topic, go with YouTube. You know, YouTube, on YouTube, you have thousands of videos on your topics. Like for Java, there are lots of channels. One of the channels is Kaushik. Uh, you can search for Kaushik on uh, YouTube. Type Java Kaushik and you can search for the cave of programming then you can search for my channel I, in fact i have some co java videos so that if your base is not clear make sure you you check out my channel so that you will find some co java videos start with something start with youtube or start with books start don't depend upon your college once your college start with the subject then try to match up with it right try to complete assignment try to do practicals you know if you are in sync it will not give you pressure in your la in, in you know last period of exams you know uh, one like one year one week before or one month before so you'll be a bit confident that you know the concept so that during exams or during the last week of exams what you can do is you can just refer you can just refer your book and then you can give exams so for advanced java again you have book for maybe for advanced Java, I'll be making some more videos like on Spring or not on Spring, a uh, Swing, uh, Servlet, JSP. So you, you will find some of my video in future. Uh, 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 then for Linux, again I will say go for YouTube. You will find lots of channels there. Uh, then you have yeah. Now let's focus on Sem Six. Okay, in Sem Six you have subjects like Internet Technology. You have subject like you have uh, project management, then you have what's a new new subject? Then 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 you have data warehouse, and then you have some elective subjects. You can either go for cyber law or you can go for DSS, right? It's all dependent upon your college. If your college says go for IPR, go for IPR. If your college says go for DSS, go for DSS. But make sure you have a good teacher. If you are taking DSS and if your college don't have a good uh, DSS faculty, don't take DSS because it's very difficult to understand maths by yourself. If you are good at maths, go for DSS. If you are not good at maths, IPR. IPR stands for Intellectual Property Rights. Again, you will find, not now. In future, I will give you some link for IPR. Okay, then, and most important you have, am I missing some subject? Yeah, you also have GIS. So with IPR, uh, with, with uh, DSS, you also have option of GIS. Lots of college, they don't go for GIS, they go for cyber law and they go for DSS. There are some college who go for GIS. If you want to work for mapping company, like if you want to go for Google Maps, if you want to go for Nokia Maps, go with GIS, right? It's all depend upon your future requirements, okay? Again, I will focus. Make sure you are doing your project properly, okay? Again, I will be having one more video on how to start with project. So uh, some guidance on project, how to start, which technology to choose 
and how to select a project which is different because your college your college will say go for some different topic and you're confused what topic so i might uh, uh, my video might help you so wait for my video for project management so yeah so focus on your ty focus on fifth sem focus on sixth sem i'm there on facebook i'm there on youtube if you have any comments if you have any doubts make sure you comment make sure you message me on facebook okay if you want my facebook id it's navin.22 so search for my my id on facebook i will you will get there and if you have any doubts do comment and do subscribe for the further videos thank you so much